what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello and welcome back to another episode of How to Design with Adobe XD. My name is Michael Wong and in this episode I'm going to show you how to create a photo gallery with the use of the repeat grid. So as you can see here, we are now designing a marketplace for our users to buy and sell their musical instruments. And what we want to achieve is a grid of photos with a price tag overlaid on each one. What we're used to is, we're used to creating a square, duplic whoops, duplicating it, doing it once again, and then duplicating that, duplicating that, and it's a very tedious and manual task, and it's very time consuming. So what Adobe XD has done for us, they allowed us to use the repeat grid to achieve this. So let's head over to the tool menu, let's select a rectangle, and let's draw out a square by holding shift to, ma to maintain the aspect ratio. Let's give it a width of 138, height of 138, and let's lock it. Now, square's done. Let's make sure that your square's selected, and let's hit repeat grid. Whoops, maybe I'll delete that. Let's hit the repeat grid, and as you can see, the handles have now appeared to show that the repeat grid is now activated. By simply dragging it out to the right, you can repeat the squares. Drag it down, you can repeat the squares. And if, and what we want to do is we want to reduce the padding and spacing between these squares. So let's just click and drag. If you want to increase it, you just drag it out. Let's make it one. Let's reduce this to one as well. There we go. And let's simply just drag this out. Cool. Now that the foundation for this grid has been completed, what we want to do is fill each square with a photo. So what I have done is I have downloaded some photos from Adobe Stock, which is a great resource, Stock Photography, and I have saved them all into a folder. And what I can do is I can select them all, click and drag all the photos into a square, and the repeat grid will automatically populate all the squares for us with all the photos that we have saved. An absolute time saver. So now let's remove that one pixel border around each photo by double clicking into our repeat grid and head it over to our property inspector and turn off the borders. Awesome. So the gallery is looking quite nice. And now what we want to do is we want to add a dark overlay with a price tag on top. So let's double click into our repeat grid once again. Let's head over to the tool menu and select rectangle or hit R on your keyboard and let's drag out an overlay. Perfect. Now let's head over to our appearance menu and change the color to black. Let's drop it down to 50%. And good. Once again, turn off the borders. There we have it, our overlay. Let's click. And now what we want to do is we want to add the price tag. Let's hit T on our keyboard to add text. Let's click and hit. That's true, let's make it $100. All right. Now I'm going to head over to our text menu and change it to Proxima Nova. Give it 14 pixels. Let's change it to bold and let's change it to white. So it stands out. Awesome. And as we learned before, we don't need to manually edit text labels when they're inside a repeat grid. We can actually create a plain text file with all our values separated on a new line Simply click and drag the file onto our label and it will automatically populate it for us. So I've gone ahead and I've created the text file. As you can see here, I've named it price. I've added each value on a new line. I've saved it out and click and drag the file onto our label. And as you can see, it has automatically populated the entire grid. So there we have it. We have a very beautiful marketplace for our users to now scroll through, buy and sell their musical instruments. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about the repeat grid, don't forget to ask in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and also subscribe. I will see you in another video very soon.